hello and welcome back to the Tech Unravel. Today I want to do a quick hands-on video. This is something that some of you have requested after you see my video about Heroic Launcher on the Steam Deck, which allows you to basically play every epic game on the Steam Deck. Well, most of the games because there are still some limitations, even though others have mentioned that this works perfectly for them, apparently some of you have issues and now we're trying to look for an alternative. So you can consider this as a follow-up video to that one and in today's video we will look at another third-party application that will allow you to play your library from the Epic Store. So first thing first we need to go to the desktop mode in order to install this third-party application. So in order to do that you just need to hold down the power button and then go to switch to desktop. Alright so once we are in the desktop mode and if you go to the discover software center over here and if you look for Lutris, you will notice that the application cannot be found in the store anymore. I think this is a temporary thing, but at the time of filming this video, this wasn't available in the Discover Software Center. So in order to do that, then you'll need to go to the application launcher, then to system and open the console over here. And then you'll have to insert this command. And don't worry, I will paste this command into the description of this video, but once you enter it and you give a couple of yes, then Lutris will be installed and then you can find it in the all application folder. And you'll see over here that we have Lutris. Once you open it, you'll have this interface and you'll see different sources, meaning that you have different stores like Steam, Ubisoft, Origins, as I've mentioned before. But what I'm interested in today is the Epic Game Store. So I'll go ahead for this video and install a couple of games from my Epic Game Store just to see how it compares with the Heroic Launcher because as some of you said this apparently works better because some of the game didn't work at all for you and I'll see how Lutris compares to the um, Heroic Launcher that I've done in my previous video. So please consider this as a follow up to that video and see how this compares to it. So once you want to install you just click on connect. I don't want to bore you with all the installation part but it's pretty straightforward it's mostly just click on next as you would normally do on any application so i'll skip this part Okay, so the Epic Game Store was installed, so let's click on launch. So apparently this installs Epic Game Launcher on Linux, because it's using Wine in the background, so you'll be able to run Windows applications, and I think this is the same for all the other sources. And for now we need to wait for the Epic Game Launcher to install. Alright, so Epic Launcher is now finally installed, and it's time to log into my account and install a couple of games and see how well they work. Okay, and now we're finally logged in. So we have over here Epic account. Let's go to my library. First of all, I want to install Rocket League once more because that is a game that I've tested as well with Heroic Launcher and I know how well it worked. And there we go. And then we click on install. And in the meantime, I want to try out also Fortnite because this is a game that didn't work in Heroic Launcher, but I think that's mostly because of the multiplayer restrictions on Steam Deck because, it, as you may know, on Linux, it's a bit harder to track any cheaters, so most of the online games, they are not working as of moment on Steam Deck. Well, some of them do, but Fortnite, I know for sure that I've tried on Heroic Launcher and it wasn't working. So we have Fortnite over here, let's install it. So while we wait for the games to install, don't forget that in order to have any third party applications available through the normal gaming mode, you'll have to add them as non Steam applications. So in order to do that, you, you need to open Steam over here on the desktop. And once it's open, then you need to click on add the game and add a non Steam game. And if you look into the list, you'll see over here Lutris and then click on add selected programs. You will see once we are back in the gaming mode, Lutris will be available to run it as a non-steam application. Alright, both games are now installed. Let's try to launch Rocket League directly from the desktop mode 
and see how it goes. Okay, so I will not go to a full game, but um, as you can see, Rocket League is working. Okay, now that we've closed Rocket League, it's time to test out Fortnite. And in the meantime, I've also installed Fall Guys, because that is another specific epic game that I really want to test out. So, open it up, Fortnite. Unfortunately, we already get this error message, because the game apparently is not supported. And the Epic Launcher actually even crashes, so once we hit OK, then you'll see that we get a reboot of the Epic application. So unfortunately, Fortnite, it is a game that hasn't worked for me, using both Heroic Launcher and now also Lutris. So I don't know if it's because of the anti-cheat that um, is happening on Linux and also on Steam Deck, but for some reason, Fortnite doesn't really want to work. But as I said, we also have Fall Guys over here, so time to test this one as well. So we hit on launch. And as you can see, we get this window with the anti-cheat, which is loading. But unfortunately, once this loads, it will stay like this. So apparently Fall Guys, as same as Fortnite, it's a game that doesn't want to work. The games that weren't working for me are the ones that usually require anti-cheat feature. I'm guessing that that's the reason that, why they don't work. But as you can see Rocket League, even though it is a multiplayer game, online game, it does work for me. But this is something that happened as well in Heroic Launcher. So I'm more leaning to think that the main reason is the anti-cheat thing. One more thing that I want to do before we wrap up this video is to see how well this works in the gaming mode. So once we are here, we need to hit on Steam and then go to library. And here in the non-Steam application, if you remember, we've already added Lutris as a non-Steam application. So that's why we have it here. So if we open it up and hit on play, we should be prompted with the same window as we did in the desktop mode. And indeed, we already have it here in the game. Uh, keep in mind, uh, in order to activate the mouse in the gaming mode, you have to keep pressing on the Steam button and then the trackpad would work. Sometimes it works without, but um, if you want to activate it, you'll have to uh, keep pressing on Steam. So, then we can open the Epic Game Store and hit on play. And I want to see how the new window for the Epic Launcher happens in the desktop mode. This isn't the best scenario because you'll have to do this every time you want to open a game from your Epic library. And if you remember in Heroic Launcher there is a workaround on how to add every game individually as a non-Steam application, so that one it's even easier. Uh, I don't know if there is a way on how to do that in Lutris, but for now you'll have to open every time Lutris and then open Epic Games and then you'll be prompted with this window and individually you can play every game. If I need to do that every time, I'll probably just avoid doing it. So I don't like this scenario, but I'll have to look if there is a way on how to do this similarly to Heroic Launcher. But for now, I'm just curious if the games are working. So we are here inside the Epic Store and we have all the three games that we've tested before in the desktop mode. And we know that only Rocket League work. So if we click on it, There you go, Rocket League is open. So it's in full screen. So if Heroic Launcher wasn't the way to go for you, if you had some issues, and then you can always give Lutris a try because apparently this works. I know from your feedback that uh, for some of you, this works better than Heroic Launcher in the sense that it is at least functional. So if you're not bothered about opening the app every time, then it should be fine. And keep in mind that this will stay open in the background, so we don't really have to close it every time if you don't open another game. So you can always quickly go back as you would in the normal game in the gaming mode. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you are currently using or if you had issues using Heroic Launcher and if at least this one solves the problem for you and you can finally enjoy your games from the Epic Store.
that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it may have solved some of your issues or at least now you know on how this works and the limitations that you may get compared to heroic launcher that's it for now this is the tech unravel and i'll catch you in the next video